hello and good morning because it is morning this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 1st of February 2020 it's 21 hours and this is live from the King's Fee a Weatherspoons in Hereford so January is gone and boy was it a long month despite having a Beano well near the beginning of it it was a long month and I was rather impecunious towards the end of it thank heavens scratch his nose um, payday is sure so Saturday wrap wrapping up the week gone Sunday well I have an Asus Black Knight router and it was running officially modded software from Merlin unfortunately I think it was about September of last year they stopped doing updates which left me in the situation of looking for a new router that was actually supported. Sunday I had the thought of actually going to Asus's website and still and having a look to see if their actual official firmware was still supported and it was and is. Now I took a chance and just installed it over the Merlin there was the possibility, the very distinct possibility <sighs> that um, it would get bricked. Luckily it didn't. So now I am officially supported um, and the last update was proof against DDoS attacks however I have lost one of the most important features of the modded firmware the ability to turn all the lights off on the front of the router so now, luckily it's not in my room, the room it's in is bathed in blue light from all the LEDs. Still, save me a couple of bob. And while I was there, I had a look at the uh, login page for my Synology NAS. I changed it from HTTP to HTTPS and then couldn't log into it. I should have realised because when I wrote the settings down in LastPass, I put the port number on there and the port number was something completely different and I was just putting HTTPS the IP address and what I should have done was that colon port number I realized that after about half an hour and the Googles anyway um, uh, a lot of the stuff said look it's on your internal network doesn't really need to be secure so I turned it off however I always like to see HTTPS so I might turn it back on but that time um, put the port number on the end of it there you go anyway um, back to the joy that is my new boiler which is fine and the stand has come from for the thermostat from eBay um, and that for what it was two little bits of plastic and four screws is really expensive uh, but in the great scheme of things no anyway spoke to British Gas about the removal of the old one we were DHL apparently no one told them again me project managing the whole thing not the way to do things still it's gone now so what can you do um, I was listening to a podcast um, called Adapt. Um, it's about iPads and there's an Italian guy called Federico, and I can't remember his surname. Anyway, he had his iPad apps of the year. It's the 10th anniversary of the iPad launch uh, now. Um, one of them was a thing called Raindrop I.O which falls into my favorite sort of app cross-platform and web-based as well it's a um, <coughs> URL manager you can store all your URLs um, and you can get them from anything else it's a bit like um, marking a page and putting it in the bookmarks um, but it works over iOS, Linux, web um, Mac, Windows, etc. Um, the basic thing works free, um, but the freemium version, which allows you to create folders and subfolders and subfolders and back up to either Dropbox or um, Google Drive, uh, is paid for. Now it turned out to be $28 for a year, which 
I think it's rather expensive. However, um, I found a couple of pence shoved down the back of the settee, so I sprang for it. And it just got me thinking um, about subscription models, and I have far too many of those, and pricing. If it was a tenner a year, I think a lot more people would actually spring for the premium version. Um, I don't like to suggest it that much to the um, guy who did it, um, because he seems really nice, and I'm sure he agonised about how much to charge for it, but everything is now, well, everything is now a subscription, and I think we can blame Apple for that one, and, well, Bobby App, my subscription manager, uh, yeah, anyway, um, Raindrop IO. It's excellent. Works from every browser and all the platforms I have. And um, it's well designed. Talking of software, um, iOS 13.3.1 dropped this week. Uh, mainly a bug fix and some security fixes which they don't talk too much about. Um, but macOS and tvOS and watchOS as well. So if you haven't updated uh, have a little look-see. And of course, um, what with oh, rugby shirts on. Oh, lots of red. Of course, we're just across the border here and the rugby is on. Um, planning Beano's. Not only am I planning, but the Wessex Beano for the end of June 2020, when it's lightest in the morning, is already going. I booked Dorchester. Bridport, I think I'll probably book on Sunday, and when I get the money, I've oh, saved it up, Exeter will be booked as well. So it'll be a Saturday to a Sunday. It'll probably rain, but I am looking forward to it. And January, apart from MB01 in Bristol and Bath, I'm not going to miss you that much. Uh, although you were really mild, well, there was a bit of frost, and there was sogginess, but... Um, pilot. <laughs> if you're old, you'll know what I mean. Anyway, um, that's the Saturday wrap for the 1st of February 2020. I'm going to wave goodbye, then touch the stop recording button. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Stop recording.